All right, hey everybody, I'm gonna get started here playing Rococo Deluxe Edition. It was brand new, came out last year, and I'm excited to show everybody this beautiful game, um, a reprint of a game that I loved um, back when it was in print, and then it went out of print. Now they printed this Deluxe Edition, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over so that you can see it. Boom, there it is. Look at that board. The board is big. It was kind of hard getting everything framed when I was setting up for the stream. But um, it's there, I've got all my stuff set up. There are some nice um, organizers for the components. Look at these. So you've got these spools, and then you've got this lace, and those are the, the uh, components that you get to use. And they're not just cardboard cutouts. They're real, well, they're not real, but I mean, they're nice and hefty and cool and stuff. They're like upgraded components. So in Rococo, um, if you've never heard of it before, you are you're helping put on a ball, and you're going to do that um, through making dresses to rent out. You're going to do that by funding decorations in the hall. Um, you're going to make fireworks, and um, you've got some statues, and then you can um, pay the, the caterers, the people in the kitchen, all kinds of things you can do. So many different ways to, ways to get points, and the idea is to have the most points at the end of the game. And this time I am playing against Madame Dewberry. This is the Madam. She is my opponent for this game. She has a deck of cards that will automate her actions. And I played this last night in preparation for the stream and uh, I lost. It wasn't a horrible loss. It was maybe down by 12 points, I'd say, but um, she's pretty difficult. So uh, we'll see what happens this time. I chose to be this nice bright purple and she is this nice bright yellow so that you can see it on the screen. So in Rococo, there's, there are these helpful player aids that walk you through each step of the game, which I love. It's very helpful to see. Um, you don't have to go look through the rule book to see what's coming up next. Um, and you go through those. There are seven rounds of the game. And then after those seven rounds, whoever has the most points wins. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, go ahead and start with the first round. Now, normally this is kind of like an upkeep phase. And normally um, you would do that now, but since it's the first round, there's nothing for us to do. We're just gonna move right on to uh, the next phase, which is choose your employees. So uh, the way we do that is I've got this deck of five starting employees. And there are, their master, I forget, their master, journeyman, and apprentice is, I think I, is what they are. So you've got gold, silver, and bronze. And that's the, they're, if, they're not efficiency, but like how good they are at doing things. And there are only certain things that uh, a master can do, a silver um, journeyman can do, a um, apprentice can do, uh, not everybody can do everything. So uh, you gotta be careful, think about what you want to do, use the right cards, and then also save the cards maybe for another turn. You kinda have to think ahead a little bit and also try to pay attention to what your opponent's doing, which in this case, I can't really do that because my opponent's not real. But it is at this point I will choose some cards. Should I start by making a dress? Um, if so, I'm going to need to get some materials. Or should I start by funding some decorations? Um, decorations cost money, as you might guess, when you fund a decoration. Um, ah, there's so many choices. I think I want to go ahead and get some materials. So down here are all the dresses that are, or suits that you can make with the cost, the cost increase going this way. There's also um, shows on the tiles what resources that you need. So this is a really cool dress. It's free. These two right here are free to make other than needing the resources. And um, this one is awesome. It's worth 22 coins, three points at the end, but it's got a lot of resources that I would need. I wouldn't even be able to do it this turn. So I think, let's see, this one's only red and a, what is that thing? A, spool of yarn or thread or whatever. So I think I'm gonna get that one. Oops, I'm not supposed to do, I've gotta pick my cards first before I can actually do the action. So I'm gonna do a bronze, a um, apprentice, and then I'm going to choose my only silver guy and then a master. So I take those three cards, put the rest down here. And those are my cards. Now Madam Dewberry is gonna get her cards, so I'm gonna draw four for her. And these will be her cards for this round. Four rounds, four cards for Madame Dewberry. Now she goes first at the beginning, at the, whenever you first start, she gets the first player token, which is this really cool golden thimble. Um, so let's see what she does for her very first turn. She will 
gather resources. And this tells us which resources she's going to get. So in this case, she will take this one, this one, and this one. So those go over here in her pile. You know, it might be kind of helpful, even though she took some, the less or the fewer options you have, the cheaper they become. So right now, uh, normally if it's all full when you choose one, each one is worth two, two coins. But in each drawer, whenever they become empty, um, they're worth less coins or they cost less coins. So now these only cost one. And if there's ever only one left, it's free. So that's pretty awesome. So she did her turn. And now I'm going to do my turn with one of these cards. So I've decided that I'm going to make this. And now that this is cheaper, that's great for me. So I will use this apprentice here, which these, uh, these employee cards have their main action and then they have a bonus action that you can do. Um, you, don't, you have to do it in that order though. You can't do bonus action first. So first of all, she needs to take this. So that's gonna cost us one liver, livre, liver, I don't know how you say it. L-I-V-R-E, that's what it's called. Um, but, so we've got that and that's our turn. Oh, and I get a free resource too, hmm. Let's see. Re perform one additional choir resources action, regardless. Okay, so there are a lot, there's a lot of pink out there. Why don't I just take this one because it's free? Okay, uh, so that's my turn. <laughs> David Phillips wants to know, will I be wearing the dresses I make on stream? Not quite this time. I'm not that advanced yet. Um, I'm not a good at a, I'm not a good quick change artist, but maybe it's something I should work on. Okay, Madam Dewberry is going to take her turn. So this tells us that she's going to make a dress or a suit. Or, oh no! <laughs> she's going to make the dress that I had planned on making. So that's unfortunate. All right, it tells us that she makes two over to from two over from the left. Left, yeah. So she makes this one, which is the one that I wanted to make, and she immediately will put it out. She doesn't have to spend anything, uh, easy for her. And then we reveal another card to tell us where it goes. So it's gonna go up in this section over here. It goes into the most beneficial place. So she has now completed one garment and I have completed none. And now I have to make a new strategy because she took the thing that I wanted. Well, I've got two pink, a green. I could make this one, but that's eight coins. And it's only worth two points, and it's 11 coins. That would be a waste. I know what I'm going to do. Um, her name is actually Madame Dewberry, and I spelled it wrong in whenever I was doing my promotions. It's Madame D-U and then Barry, B-A-R-R-Y. Oh, Madame Dewberry. Oh, Madame Dewberry. oh sorry. Laura is correct in my pronunciation. Madame Dewberry. That better? Okay. Um, okay, so now, I didn't mention over here, you can hire more employees. There's a little bit of deck building here. You don't ever shuffle or draw at random, um, but you do have to kind of do a little bit of deck management. So I'm going to choose, of course, it's always good to hire another master. And at this point, it doesn't matter. They're all going to cost the same. So I might as well go ahead and pay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pay five, which is expensive. I'll use this guy. No, actually, I'm going to use this guy, the journeyman. Oh, nope, I have to use a master to, to hire. So I have to use a master to hire. So I'm going to get this guy. It immediately goes into my hand for me to be able to use this round. So that is all for my turn. Madame Dubarry, Dubarry, I can't do it. Um, she will make another garment. So one, two, three, four. Whenever you're counting, you don't count spaces. So one, two, three, four. She makes this one, and it is going to go in the middle section. Most valuable would be here. And I am behind already. Okay. So now it's time I get three blue, gosh, three blue would take me two more turns. 
Or I could pay, nope, I've got two green, two pink. I can make this one. I'm gonna waste a whole lot of fabric if I do this, but I need to, I need to get a dress out there. So this has green and two pink. This one has a green and red. You can pay as long as you have enough, but all the extra fabric that are on those tiles is just wasted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I will play you, this master. So now I can place it on a special space like here where only master um, garments made by masters can go. So I get the one livre, lever, and I spend these. And I also need to spend, what am I making? Oh, that's it, that's all I need to spend. So, oh, and then two coins to make it. So I take it and I will place it somewhere special. Oh, I'll put it right here because I get four livre for doing that. Madame Dewberry of the Chesterford Dewberries, betrothed to Sir Wet Reginald Worthing Cornswallow the fourth. Duke of Chutney and heir to his family's guinea pig empire, according to the flavor text in the rule book. I love it. I love it. All right, so that was four? Yeah, four. Okay, so that was my turn. And here she goes. She will hire an employee. So she will take this guy, or is this a gal? It's a guy. And Whenever she hires, she doesn't put them in her stack. She just puts them on her pile of employees. Um, they are never, she'll never use those because she has her own deck. But for mechanic purposes and for me, um, she will take them. Okay, so that was her turn and I've got one card left. And this is a journeyman, um, which I can use to do anything but hire an employee. I could take the queen's favor and get the first player token and uh, five coins. Or, I mean, I can't make anything at this point. I could fund a decoration, but those are kind of expensive right now. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use you to get the queen's favor, which gives me five coins. I take this from Madame Dewberry and... That's that. Now I think, I have to double check here on the rule book. I think she gets three points even if I take it. She always, let's see, regardless of whether she could claim the queen's favor or not. Oh, that's if she draws the queen's favor card. She does not. So no points for her. Okay, so that's the end of the first round. What we do now is we follow this. Um, what does that mean? Okay, the, there we go, there are the actions. And now we do income. So everybody gets five. Madam, du Madam Dewberry doesn't have any money. She has all that she needs. She only cares about points according to the rule book. So she doesn't get any money, but I do. I get five for my income. There is the ability to get more income if you fund the wait staff or the kitchen or whatever. You can get more money that way. Um, and that's it. That's the end of the round. And now we move back to the beginning of the next round, of the second round. So there are a couple upkeep things we do. First of all, these come down, they're gone, never to be hired again. We refill. All of these, or first of all, this goes down, it's gone. And then everything else slides down. And we draw from these beautiful bags here. I love these. And fill out the row. Dun, 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 dun. I need to have some nice 14th century music. I don't know what century this is. That's not the right kind of music. Okay, and then we refill the resources. We don't do anything with those. We don't leave, move any out or anything. We just put the tiles there. Okay, I put the queen's favor here, I'm first player. And then now, Madame Dewberry, now we're gonna pick our employees. So Madame Dewberry always takes four cards from the top of her deck. Oh, no, I have to reshuffle every round, I forgot about that. Just in case she gets cards that she's already played. 
David cannot discern between 4th and 15th century music. I can't either. I can't even discern what 15th century music is, let alone between the two. I might be able to guess. All right, Madame Dewberry. We'll take five or four cards. Two, three, four. And now she's ready to go. And now I've got to pick three, which I have to take these because they are from my supply. And then I take everything that I've played and I'll put it back over here. And then I get to choose one. Because remember, I can choose three. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. Um, this will be good because I can get a free um, resource action. So I'm going to take that one. Ah, you hear that? The violinist clearly has a plague. Definitely 14th century. I like it. Okay, so I go first. Hooray! I need to make another garment this turn, this time. Hmm. Now, I'm looking at the ones that are free because it's always good to get things that are free. That's a life uh, momentum, not a life mantra. It's always good to get things for free. So if I get this one, I need a blue and a pink. If I get this one, same thing. This one, I would need two green. This one, I need two green and a two pink and green worth two points. I could, I'm okay with doing that. So I'm going to play this apprentice to get this. It's going to cost me two. One, two. Um, and she also gets to do the free gather resource action. So I'm going to get... There's a lot of blue. I'm going to get this, which is going to cost me a coin. The action is free. The cost is not. Um, okay, so that was my turn. Madam Dewberry, do your worst. All right, she's going to hire this person. Done. Simple as that. All right, next is me. I've got everything I need to make that garment. Now, you can always make a garment and then not put it out and get the coins instead. I hate doing that because then I um, miss out on the points. Because you have to worry about majority in each of the halls too. So I'm not going to do this. It's so, three, three coins is expensive, but I guess it's worth it. So I will use the master to discard this and this, this um, spool and these fabrics to make this dress right here, or suit, it's a suit, um, and three coins. So where am I gonna put this? I've already got majority here so far. If I come over, I'm gonna come over here and and get, because I made it with the master, I'm going to get five coins. Love it. David, I've been messing around with my microphone a lot. Can you hear me okay? Is it too soft, too loud? What do you think? Okay, so that was that. Madam Dewberry's turn. She's going to make one, two, three, four, this. And it's going to go... In the center hall. So she takes this. We will put it here. Oops. And she gets a resource tile. Uh, I think I draw one. Thank you, Lance, for uh, giving me a feedback on the mic. Um, let's see. Whenever she does the there are a few things you've got to watch out for. Here it is. When she, oh, that's decorations. Case of a resource tile reward, she gets a random unrevealed toy uh, from the bag. Okay, just wanna make sure. So this will be Madame Dewberry's. Awesome, thanks for the feedback. Okay, David is waiting for the day when board games follow the pay-to-win format of app games. Coins are a pre premium currency. You can take one victory point or pay $4.99 for coins, which give you more actions. I don't like the sound of that at all. Okay, so she just went 
and now I go. So, did I spend my, I just put that out, yes I did. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to play this guy. I need to, uh, I'm going to fund something. Eight, one's eight. I'm going to fund this musician. No, 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 no. I'm going to fund this. So that's only f six. Let's put one of these here. That means I get some extra income at the end of the round. And then I get two as a bonus action from that person. I didn't, oh, I should have hired somebody this round. That was a bad, bad move. Okay, now, because now Madame Dewberry is going to have two turns in a row. So she's going to hire this guy. And then she's going to fund a decoration. So she will fund fireworks worth the most, I think. That's a tricky thing about Madame Dewberry is you, do, you have to determine where she goes when she's picking something. Fireworks. One decoration for free. Card determines which decoration to fund. Um, least expensive one. So I was wrong. So she goes here, funds those fireworks. Okay. All right. And so that's it, that's her turn. So now we go to income. So I'll get five, six, Oh, wait. I see. <laughs> it's one coin per uh, decoration that I've funded. Which, oh, I've, I've funded that one, so that would be one. Okay, so I get six. Five, six. Okay. I, since she didn't take the queen's favor, I keep the queen's favor. Um, so now let's prepare for the next round. These go away. You can always know what round you're in by looking at the final card and seeing what number it has. So this has three on it. We're in the third round. Okay, then these slide out. These move down. We need some more. Give me some more garments. One, two. Lots of pink, sheesh. Lots of stuff I don't have the resources for. Where are the blues? Okay, and now we refill the resources. What's funny is I'm sure that, uh, oh, you just got, the, Lance just got the game on Tuesday. Have you played it yet? Have you had a chance to check it out? Um, okay, so I've got to pick three cards, which these are the only three cards I have left. What are these? Oh, these fell out. Have to play it still. All right, cool. Well, I hope you love it. I hope this gets you excited for it. What's funny is I was gonna say is, inevitably, I'll come back after someone watches through this uh, playthrough and be like, well, this, you didn't do wrong because on page 37 it says in this situation, under these conditions, this is what you're supposed to do. And then uh, I, I appreciate the corrections, I do. Because I want to know, and that way for people watching, they know that the what the right way to do it is. But I looked over the rule book a lot for this, so I hope I'm doing everything right. Okay. I have two masters and one journeyman, so I'm going to, oh, let's get her, her cards. One, two, three. Oops, I got to shuffle those. I always forget to shuffle. So... I need to this round, because the more um, employees you have to choose from, the better. So I need to get some more, because they all not only allow you to do things, but they've got those bonus actions. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and take one, two, three, four. Madam Dewberry. I need to hire, but I'm going to wait and see if she hires somebody. That way, the costs will be lower for me. I just can't. I've got 23 coins right now. I can't give away five yet. So I'm gonna see if she does that. So in the meantime, let's look at what I wanna make. This one, if I can just get it, oh! And I've got the lace, perfect. All right, so 
Journeyman is going to, how you say, Mr. Journeyman? He's gonna go here, pay two coins to get this. That way we can make, make this next turn. Um, and then he's got this bonus action where I can pay a coin to get a lace or a thread. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I very infrequently get quoted, Lan, uh, David's quoting me, the more employees you have to choose from, the better. Recruiting consult, uh, recruiting consultant for hire. That's me. Um, so do I need, I don't want to spend another coin. I'm fine on that kind of stuff. Okay, so got that. That's it for that action. Madam Dewberry, do your worst. All right, there we go, perfect. She's gonna hire somebody. So she hires, boom, boom, this person. Okay. Now me, I'm gonna use, oh, I better make that dress so that she doesn't take it. So I'm gonna use this master. I get a coin for free, because they're, why do I have to do that second? I gotta do it in order. So I will make this. I pay this and this to make this awesome red suit. And then I can get my free coin. So where are you gonna go, sir? I would like to rent out your garment with my powdered wig. That's what he said. Um, I need to try, see, this one gives you the most points for having the majority. This is six points but I'm already way behind, so I don't know if I can catch up there. I'm gonna come over here, get this, this one. I believe that means I take a tile. Oh, I've got these, these are good. Wait, no, that, that's not it. Um, where are we? Fun to decoration. If available, gain one resource tile from any row on the resource tile display for free. Masters of dresses are pulling your strings. Bad Metallica joke. I don't know anything Metallica, sorry. Um, so I can take any one of these for free. So I'm gonna take, this is gonna go away. So I need some green or some pink. I can make, let's see, let's get some green. And I'm gonna need a spool, so I'll take that one. And that'll be it for that guy. Okay, Madam Dewberry. She's gonna take all of these. One, there's not one there. Here. Okay, um, and I'm gonna use my final master to come over here and hire somebody. Oh, I'm gonna get this person. You get to fund a decoration for five less. That's really good. So pay my three, yes, three coins. Five, two back. All right, David, thank you so much for dropping in. Thanks for your continued viewership. Uh, have a good time doing gross work stuff. Thanks. Um, okay, so I've got her, oh, but she's gotta go. She's gonna make one, two, three, this one. And it's going to go up here. Good thing I put a garment there. So she's gonna go always where the most valuable is. So that's gonna be here. Okay. She's got one action left, I've got one action left. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make, I think I can make something, oh no. To make that, I would need some thread, which I don't have any. That's bad. Bad news. So I can use you to do something else. Queen's favor. I get five coins. I get to, oh. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder, because this lets me, that's an addition, okay, that's an addition to, <laughs> I'm, going through my thought process and not making any sense to you because I'm not thinking everything out loud, just the little parts. All right, so I look over here, I've got this nice helpful um, cheat sheet here. This means perform one additional fun decoration regardless of your main action. Okay, perfect, that's what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna play her to get the queen's favor 
and then I get to do a fund action for five less. So three, two, four, five. I'm gonna fund this, well, I can fund this too. I'm gonna to fund this for four, All right? Nine minus five is four, boom. Put this here. This musician is now going to play at the ball. I don't know what, no, I think that's a singer. They can still do this. Okay, um, so that's my turn. And Madam Dewberry is going to do her final turn. She's going to fund some fireworks. So it will be the cheapest one. Right there. Okay, she's beating me out on the fireworks. Not good. And she's got two. Uh, I guess I need to get up there so I can make some fireworks. Okay, so that's it. That's the round. I get my. Now I get. I get my five, and then I get one. Two, so seven. Five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, now we start over. Um, there's a lot to keep up with by yourself. Okay, Madam Dewberry, I think she's got one, two, three, four garments out. I've got one, two, three garments out, but I've also funded two things. So we're kind of balanced, not really, actually, because um, she's got potential to get lots of points up there. All right, so these guys go out. Sorry, we're not on the market anymore. This is round four. Okay, if we go here, I put this back. I didn't need to get my five points. This comes down, these slide over, boom, boom, boom. We refill, let's get some cool looking clothes out there. I'm going for something, come on, let's get some blue stuff. Where are all the blue garments? Not there, oops. Pink, pink, and Pink, wow, that's really terrible. Okay, and we refill. No, can we stop and again admire the beautifulness of this game? Ian O'Toole is a very talented artist, and so he did all of the artwork for this. Um, and I just love the colors, how colorful it is. And so the original game, it was, I mean, it wasn't ugly, but it was more of like a muted type color scheme and this is like bright and especially with the fireworks i love it the board is bigger and it's very um, arranged in a very different way um, but I, I think it works it looks like a palace or wherever you're at i think everything i mean look at it you can see it's it's just fantastic i love it it is pretty lance agrees with me okay madam dewberry you need your four cards one, two, three. I didn't shuffle. We've got, so we're on four. Four more. Four, five, six, seven. Four more rounds. Madame Dubarry. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm still first player. I don't have any more cards, so I take all of these. Start with three cards. So I'm gonna go with this one. She was super helpful, the one with the um, funding and decoration discount. Go with one master. And this guy gives two, this one for the free resource. Okay. So let's see, what can I make with three blue, two green? Nothing. I could do this, that'd be cost me four and I would need the lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna play this apprentice to come over here and get some resources. I need lots of pink, so why not get this pink one? It's gonna cost me two. 
and then she gets the free action. She can do it again. So I need some lace for that. So she's going to take this. Now, if you see a tile down here that has, you, you have the, um, the fabric at the top of the token, and some of them have either lace or um, string thread or both. So whenever you take that, you can choose to, instead of getting the fabric, get the thing at the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do here. That way it won't cost me one. I take this, I discard it so that I can get some lace. So I gotta pay one, you can change here. One, two, three, four. So that was her free action. And I think that's that. All right, madam. Oh no, there's something on the card. Got it. She's going to make, okay, that's fine. One, two, she's gonna make this one. And it is going to go, this card will tell me, in this section over here, uh-oh, she's encroaching on my territory. So she will go where she gets something. So she's gonna go over here. And we'll get one of these tiles. The crazy thing is, so she gets some of these tiles just by drawing a card, of these um, resource tiles, and she's gonna get points for as many of those as she has at the end of the game, which I'm like, those are determined by how the deck is shuffled. So. On a good day, she may, like last time I played, I think she got eight points from all of that because she had so many tiles. This this time she's not doing as good, but um, we'll see how, how it plays out. Okay, so she did that. Now I'm gonna go. You are going to make this dress for four coins. Open a second miniature market near you. Don't mis <laughs> That's really funny, Lance. So, um, where where is the miniature market? I know it normally comes from, I can't think of where. I should know, because I get stuff from them all the time where it comes from. Is this, not St. Louis. Um, miniature market is a great store. They've got great discounts on all their games. I like it. I, out of all the online discounters, or out of all the online retailers, I like it the most. Although Game Nerds is starting to come up there. Um, so I did that. She's going to make this dress. So I pay a blue and a green and a lace. And this, hey, board game trucker, welcome to the stream. I'm just over here making some dresses and funding some decorations and stuff. Glad that you're here. All right, so I just made this dress. And where should I put it? All right, this is four. I'm going to come back over here, and if I go here, I get free lace. St. Louis. See, I thought it was St. Louis, but I thought I was making it up. Okay, so that was her, and she also has a free funding, or a, a funding action with a discount of five. Should I go, where should I fund? This would give me four points, but that would cost me... 12 coins. I think I'm going to do it. So I'm going to use her to fund this musician over here. That is, is that a flutist? Something like that. So 12 coins, 17 minus 5 is 12. And now I've got that, and that was her action. Bordlandia, I've never heard board, of Bordlandia. Uh, Game Nerds is actually like five minutes from my house but they don't have a storefront. So it's frustrating because I could order something and it would take like four days to get to the house where I'm like, people, I'm right here, I can just go pick it up. And I've asked them before and they said, no, no, you can't come pick it up. Maybe in the future we're thinking about doing that, but not now. And it's so frustrating. Anyway, speaking of frustrating, it's Madame Dewberry's turn. She's gonna hire this person. Oh no, <laughs> I've been doing something wrong this whole time. She's supposed to, every time she hires somebody, she's supposed to draw a card from her deck so that she continually has more turns. Board Game Trucker likes Game Nerds and Miniature Market. Yes, Amazon, uh, because you can get things fast. All right, how am I gonna rectify this? Okay, so that means she's done this action one, two, three, four, five, 
five times. So she should have five more actions that she hasn't done. Oh boy. I think what I'm gonna do is she's gonna take two extra actions this turn and three extra actions next turn. I don't want them all to go this turn. So I'll give her two more cards. Oh gosh, okay. Um, should I hire somebody? This guy would give me one coin. Ooh, wait. No. No. Okay, one thing that you can do, I haven't done it yet, is you can depute the employee. So at the bottom, there's a coin at uh, coin value. You can say, um, I don't need your services anymore. And then you can get them for their coin value. Um, let's see. I'm going to hire this person so I don't have to pay green. Or I can make a green thing at minus, minus two. So you go. I pay three. Let me get my one coin for his bonus. There's that. Okay, madam. I did you wrong. I know. I'm sorry. All right, so she's going to take some resources here. This one, this one, and this one. Very cool. I'll have to check out Boardlandia. Um, oh, that's it. That's all she does. Okay. I've got six coins. That's not a whole lot. I need... Okay, here's what... Mm. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play her and come over here and get some resources. So I'm going to take this one and get the lace and thread. And then she gets a free make action, sew action, whatever, at a minus three uh, green discount. So this one over here is free. This dress is free. And all I need to do is pay this thread. Should I put it out or get the nine coins? I'm about to get some income. So I think I'll wait. I'm going to go ahead and put it out. I'm doing good here. I'm doing good here. I need to come up here. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Feeling good. Sort of. All right. Now she still has three actions to do. So let's just watch and see what Madam Dewberry does. Okay. So she's going to make... One, two, this, and it's going to go down here. Oh. Terrible. All right, next one is, oh, she takes the queen's favor. Boo! And she immediately gets three points for doing that. Okay, and her last one, she's going to make one, two, three. Where's it going to go? No. <laughs> Here again. Bad news, because that gives you four points. Really bad news. Oh, I should have been paying attention, I'm doing things the right way. Okay. Oh, there's an award you can get if you've got something in every hall. And I've got one here, 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 here. If I get something on that one, I get six points. So I'm going to work on that this turn. Okay, so I get my income, which is one, two, three. Eight, five, because I funded these people in the kitchen. I feel a little bit better about that. You don't get anything. Okay, so now we start over. New round. These guys come down. One, two, three, four. We are on round five out of seven rounds. That's done. These move over. We put some more out. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Yeah. Oh, that's pink. There's a blue. Yay. Woo. Ah, and I've got everything. I need to get some thread to make that. But I think I may use that. Oh, there's another blue. Might use that for its money. It's worth two points, but I think I could use it. Mm, no, because uh, I still got 
to wait and see what cards I have before I should make those decisions. Okay. How about you have some blue out there? Let's put some resources back out. Thank you to everybody that's watching. I appreciate you spending your time um, watching me make some dresses and some suits and making music and fireworks. I love this game. It's so much fun. And I just, I try something, I can't say I try something different every time. I mean, I guess I can, because I don't ever have like a set strategy. I'm just like, whatever, let's try this. I have Dewberry though. Now I'm gonna remember to shuffle her cards. And remember, she's taking three extra actions this turn to make up for all the ones that I missed. So she's gonna get, oops, I'm supposed to stand up, my watch is telling me, but doesn't understand there are more important things like living a sedentary. Uh, board game trucker, yes, Lara does enjoy it. Maybe not as much as I do. Um, but she does enjoy it. We played it uh, back in December after having not played it for like two years. And she was, and, and me to an extent, a little underwhelmed because we had like just these wonderful memories of this amazing game. And when we played it, it wasn't that it was bad, it was just that we had kind of hyped it up more than what it really was. Again, that's not saying it's a bad game, but it kind of, I, you know how that happens. Like maybe you've got a movie that you think is amazing and you go back and watch it and you're like, oh, that's okay. Now, I'm not saying that this is okay. Again, this is a great game and I love it. Um, once I have started playing it more, that love for the game is starting to come back. So I think if she were to play it more, that same thing would happen. But yeah, she likes the game. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, she gets five. So that would be four plus three, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, she took this, that jerk. Okay, so she gets to go first. Why not? Why not start off by making some, oh no, that's taking the, yes, that's good for me. That is good, sort of. Okay, oh, I gotta pick up my cards. Two, three, four. Oh, I mean, I might as well put you away. Oops, I don't need you. Okay. I've gotta get stuff out there. I've gotta get up there and over there. Oh, I need to get over there. Okay, that can do, I can fund that musician for eight. You've also got these guys. You get two points for like sets of colors. Um, what do I wanna do? Do I make another dress? Do I fund a decoration? How about, why not both? All right, what, what, what can I make down here? Pink and blue for free. Now might be a good time to get some money. No, I don't want to. Take a turn. I've got, I've got enough. I'm doing okay. Okay, I really want to make this one. Hmm. Or if I go here, make something. Do I have the stuff to make any of this? Blue, pink. Don't. I need to make this. I need a spool. So I'm gonna have to waste, oh, this person. It's not a waste, okay. I'm gonna spend this person to fund the decorations uh oh, this is gonna be scary. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I'm just making poor choices. And that goes over there because that means I've got something in all the halls. And then for the bonus action, I'm gonna spend one coin to get a spool of thread. I've only got five coins, guys. This is not looking too good. Okay, Madam Dewberry. One, two, she's gonna make this, and it's going to go over here, giving me a little competition. Oops. Okay. Could also hire somebody. 
I need to make this before she... Oh, should I do it? Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm having such trouble. Okay, I'm going to make this dress. I'm going to go ahead and make it with this and this. Help me out. Do I do this for the dress or do I do it for the money? Should I put it out on the board somewhere or get the 16 coins that it could get me? Oh, I've got to pay for I'm gonna, I only have one coin left, so I'm gonna go over the 16 coins, so. so. 10, 15, 16. And there's no bonus action there, so that's what that is. Okay, madam, she's gonna fund the decoration. So she does this. Hooray. Okay, my turn. I've got one card left, should I hire? So that I, I need to hire somebody so I can keep going. This is for every dress I have, get a point. I think I'm gonna go for that. So I spend you and five coins to hire you. So there's that. Okay, Madam Dewberry is gonna hire somebody. This one goes here and I'm remembering to add a card to her deck. Okay, now these are one. Do I want to hire, but then I just keep two pink, pink and a blue. Guys, I'm stuck. Got 10. I can't make anything. I could make this, but that's worth six. I may, I hate to use a master to get um, some, whatever those are. I could depute somebody. You'd be worth 10. Oh no, I just got you though. Why not? I'm gonna hire somebody else so I can, uh, get some stuff. So I get a coin for every dress. Well, I've got to do the higher action first. So I'm going to get this. This is for every dress. I'm going to get this one. That costs me one. And then your bonus action is one coin for every garment I have on the board. So one, two, three, four, five. So five. That's helpful. All right, madam. Just going to make one, two, three, four, five. This one, and where's it gonna go? Down here. Oh, you. Okay, and I've got one left. So. This one will give me, for every two dresses I have, will give me a point whenever I play this card. But what do I do with it? I'm just gonna have to prepare for next round. That's, I could get the queen. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get the queen. Um, and then I get, so I said I had five dresses, so that means I get two points. Okay, now she's gonna go Make a dress. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is bad news. Ah so she's got the majority there. She's also got all halls bonus. Can that be done on a two player game is what I want to know. All halls bonus. No player can occupy more than one space. Oh, I guess they can. All right, so hooray, Madam Dewberry. I'm so happy for you. Okay. Ouch. All right, she's going to go again. Going to hire this person. Get another card. Yay. Going to take all of these that are left. And then finally... Make another garment, why not? This one is going to go up here.
We're getting to the end, folks. Sort of. Uh, what do I do if I run out of these things? Okay. Um, income. So I've got one, two, three, four. Well, that doesn't count as one. So eight again. Six, seven, eight. All right, I feel better now about the money. Now we'll go on to the next round. So I believe I've got two more rounds left. One, two, three, four. This one drops off. These slide down. Ooh, we're going to get a lot of choices out here. A lot of new choices. One, two, three. Some lots of blue out there. Okay, and then our resources. Has anybody out there ever actually made, not even a dress, just something by sewing it? I remember sewing something as an art project. I made little stuffed animals in art class. I did do, um, I was a theater major in college and we had, a, we had to take a costuming class, so I learned how to sew a little bit better there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you've sewn. I made, a, I made a mask, a blue beetle, for my blue beetle costume. I sewed a mask, a cowl, and it was pretty cool. I wish, wish I still had the costume. Somebody, who shall not be named, made me get rid of it. Okay, so also I get this. Take that back. Also, now her horrible... Extra turns are done. Okay, so gotta shuffle her cards again. I love shuffling cards. Especially pretty cards. And these are pretty. One, two, three, four. All right, now, so now we have these employees out here with the blue at the bottom. That's end game scoring. Um, so this time when she takes an employee, she has to take one with the blue, um, blue part. I think I'm, I'm supposed to score it immediately, I think. One second, no, no. Here we go. As any uh, is available, Madam Dewberry will always hire the end of game bonus employee that is currently brings her the most prestige points. So currently, so it picks the one that gives the most points. Okay, I knew it was something like that. Um, so I go first. I've got this card that I have to use, and then I get to pick. I pick the one that gives me points, and this one that gives me money. Those are the ones that I pick. Okay. Let me see what my options are. So there's no way I can get majority here. I could possibly get majority here. This is still possible. This one, and I still have majority there. What can I make? I've got two. I can make this if I can get a spool, and it won't cost. Oh, and it's 22 coins. Yeesh. That's a lot. Or 12. Or, I mean, or three points. I have enough. I've got enough money right now, though, so I don't need the money. But... I will need a spool to get that. So I'm going to use this guy to get, I've got to spend two coins, but I get him back because of his bonus. So I'm just going to do that. And we're going to get this. Actually, we'll get this one. So I get a lace and a spool of thread. Okay, madam, it is your turn. All right, she's going to fund these people. Okay, next, do I, I need to hire. So this is for every pair of, what is this? Oh, Matt, pair those together. Okay, is that a, I don't have any, that wouldn't be a good one for me to get. Maybe I'd get this one. I'm gonna wait to see if Madam will get something. Okay, um, so then since I'm gonna wait and I have to use a master to hire, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my journeyman to do what? Oh, to make this garment here. So I'll spin that, I'll make this garment, I spin this, and this thread. 
Where am I going to put it? Oh, wait, no. I can't do that. I have to use a master to do that. Darn. I'm not going to be able to hire anybody. I chose my cards poorly. Okay. So we're going to put this here. You know, those aren't... They're worth points, but not a whole lot if I don't fund fireworks. So I need to do that. So I get one point for every garment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one coin for every garment. So that's six. Okay. Still with me. Some of you are still with me. Thanks for sticking out, hanging it out. What? Hanging out with me. <laughs> okay. Madam's going to take all of these. One, two, three. All right. This is the last action for this round. I've got lots of money. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do fireworks. Um, that one gives me three. I'm gonna fund the 14 one. Give me one back. Okay. And then I get a point for every two that I have. One, two, three. Three, so three points. Uh -huh. Okay. Madam's turn. She's going to hire one of these. Which one gives her the most points? This would give her three points. Oh, boy. Does she have any red? She has no red. I think this would give her the most points. I'm going to say that because uh, it causes me to do the last thinking. So she's going to take this one and takes one of these. All right. She's going to take this. And then finally, she's going to make something. Of course she is. This one is going to go. Uh, can't go there. What happens if she can't go there? It's all full. Reveal another, okay, that's dumb. Just reveal another card, that's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, it's the same hall. Okay, ah. Oh. All right, she's gonna put it, oops, here. Okay, that's it for both of us. We get my income, now I have some more. I should have nine now. So I'm just gonna take this 10 one back, and Madame Dewberry, of course, doesn't get anything. Okay, now we reset for the final round of the game. So these all come down. These get shuffled. Who's going to win? Who do you think? Looks like our little doggy Lucy needs to go outside. Thank you, Laura, for opening the door for Lucy. Okay. One, two, three, four. You slide down. Wrong one. We have to be careful because we think there's a bunny nest out in the yard and she's a hound. She's gotten baby bunnies before. It's very sad. Okay. And there. Okay. I think we're good to go. Oh, I've got to pick my employees. Okay, should I just pick all? I guess I'll just pick all. Um, but she lets me fund a decoration for fewer. That's a good one. Any green ones out there? I can make a green one without having to get the resources. That's a good one. Maybe I don't do any masters. She'd give me an extra resource action. You'd give me a coin for at least just 
do I need that? I need a master so I can hire somebody. So I'm going to take this guy. Okay. Those are my choices. All right. People are dropping out. If you're still watching, thanks. All right. I still have the first player marker, so I will go first. I can make this one. Oh, but I don't have any thread. Oh, if I wait on that, she's going to get it. I just know it. All right, I'm going to spend this guy to get this to get me a thread. And I have to pay two coins to do it. No problem. And as bonus action, he's going to make that dress. So it's free. He gets to do it if there are three. Basically, he gets to do it for th minus two green. I need to lace. So I spend that. Make this dress. Boom. Where are we going to put it? I, if I go up there, we tie. I'm going to do it. OK. All right, so that was that action. Madam, your turn. Queen's favor. She gets three points. One, two, three. My turn. For every, so it's a set, I guess. I think, I, I have trouble reading these. Gain three points. For each set of two garments you have on master guest spaces, a set of two at master one, two, green, pink, red. They don't have a blue. Hmm, can't do that. So I'm not going to get that one. Maybe this one. Okay. Um, so she's going to go. What can she do? She's got this. We don't have any stuff. Don't have any stuff. How much money? I've got 10, 15. We need to fund. All right, she's just going to get... Something. I'm just going to take this because it only costs one. Sure, why not? Do I want the thread? I need to take it for the green. Okay. Um, then she's going to do her bonus action of uh, funding fireworks uh, for five less. So we're going to do the 16, so 11. Okay, over to you, madam. She's going to take these resources. My last card. I guess I'm gonna hire somebody. Oops, did I shake the camera? This is number of cards. Do I get this? Three coins for a point. It's gonna cost five. I'm gonna do it though. Which one? Oh, this is minus. I'm gonna get this one. I get a coin for him. Okay. Madam. Funds. She can't go there because it's already funded. All right. Almost done. Got this journeyman. Journeyman, journeyman. Five. I guess what I'm going to do. Five. I'm going to spend the journeyman. And this, to make this dress for five, and then I'm going to sell it. So I get 12 back. And now, this guy can make a thing for, uh, what, are the, what are those things called? Discount of two, or 10. So what if I did this? 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm short by one, so 
I will come up here and do this. So that would only be 12, which is the last firework. We'll see if that pays off. Okay, and that's all mine. Of course you hire somebody on your last turn. If she gets, oh, she takes one that would give her the most points. I'm gonna say that it's this. So I will go here. Okay, that's it. Oh, I gotta get my income. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five plus seven is 12. Right? Yeah. Okay. So bear with me while I total the points here. End of game. Um, so I also do go ahead and do this. I'll do six points for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two for the all hall of bonus. Okay. Uh, get one point for every 10 livre. So that's two for me. Oh, she still has the queen. So that means she gets three. And then any of these, so that would be these two. She gets one, po oh, she gets three points for that. One, two, three. And then how many is this? What is that? One time bonus at the end of the game for total number of cards in your staff. So she would have, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, of course. <laughs> she gets 11 points. 14, 25, 26. I should have got that card. Okay. Well, I don't have any end game bonuses, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Majority in each of the halls. What if there's a tie? A tie is decided in favor of the tied player with more garments on master guest spaces. Okay, so we go here. There's still a tie. All tied players receive full rewards. Okay. So, here we both get, I mean, I'm not gonna move them up. Just, well, no, because it's just the same difference. Okay, here I get three points. Second place does not get any points in the two player game. Um, here she gets four. Here she gets two. Here there's a tie. One, two, there's still a tie, so we both get six points. Again, not gonna mess with that. Okay, next. Majority in fireworks. I have that. So I get Oh, six. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, Lance. Nice try. Okay. Um, and then, admire the fireworks. Okay, so here's this is going to be the tricky part. Assign one of the garments from the hall to the firework decoration. Okay, so you're going to multiply this. Okay, so this is to this one. So you're going to go here. You're gonna go watch some fireworks, and then you are, you are. And then she will do the same. Oh, she's got a four pointer. Okay. Statues, nobody funded the statue. All right, now we're gonna fund, or we're gonna calculate points on all of our trademarks. So those are our little tokens, whatever. And then we'll be done. We'll see who has the most points. So, I have two, four, six, so I'll do that, two, four, one, two, three, four, two, where are you, three, um, so this is going to be three times three, 
9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one will be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I've got another one. 3, 4. Okay. And I've got 2. 1, 2. And then these guys. 2, 4, so that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. Okay, Madam's turn. All right. Can she beat 57? I'm pretty confident she can. All right, 2, 4. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 36, 46. 3, 5. Um, 4, 12, 14. <laughs> Yikes. Then two, three, and then four. So this is about what it was when I played last night, the last time I played this. So that's what? 57, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 point difference, which is pretty bad, but it's at least I'm, we're both on the same side of the board, right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's all that matters. So, thanks for watching, um, whether you're watching now or later on. Um, this is a really fun game, and I lost, but that's okay. I still had fun. Madam Dewberry, congratulations. Oh, she has more points. <laughs> Hold on. Let me come back. Because she gets... Um, one point for every two resource tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more points, hooray! Okay, it's even worse than I thought. It's probably time. It's a sign that I should move on. So. Thank you all for watching. If you are watching this on replay, please consider subscribing to the Lighten Up Initiative. I would love it. I would love to have your subscription. Um, I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any questions about the game, just post them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, Lance, for watching. You have a great weekend as well. Bye, everybody.